Well, there is your start list for the men's final that kicks us off today. Demon of Mongolia will be looking to make history. He's one of two Mongolians here this weekend. Dandendorj finished fourth in qualifying. He scored 14.05. as though he was looking to the camera there as he was chalking up his hands and feet. Perhaps he was enjoying the attention. He looks composed, focused and ready. Wonderful tumbling pass to begin this floor routine. Second landing, not quite as tidy as his first. Oh, that is a shame, that will eat away at his execution score. to have recovered well from that earlier landing in which he went out of bounds. Of course that will elicit a deduction of 0.1 points for the one foot out of the arena. Well a mixed performance from the Mongolian. He'll be disappointed with that landing on his third tumbling pass. He started really well. Fourth in qualification but you suspect that he will be marked down on his execution there. That routine has a difficulty rating of 5.6. So 4.05 was his qualification score. Seems as though he's could be suggesting there that well, that this is a. Uh, Dmitry Patin of Kazakhstan also getting his feet all chalked up. He won't want a slip up like Damdindorj just there in the opening floor routine. It was this third tumbling pass where he just went out of bounds. Didn't quite control the landing. There's an anxious wait for the judges to produce their scores. Well, that is disappointing indeed for Damden Dorsch, who will be Ladies ruining the He ended up on his backside and with both feet out of bounds. Disappointing for the Mongolian. Asan Salimov. He 
has won medals at World Challenge Cup level. Took gold on the vault at Antalya earlier this year. So a useful performer on a number of different apparatus. He finished sixth in qualification. routine is worth a 5.8 in terms of difficulty but you suspect that his execution scores will be high slight hop forward there but otherwise his landings have been pretty decent some real power there didn't he but despite that really kept the graceful elements as well of the routine and I think that he will be pretty pleased with that performance well, Salimov of course knows what it takes to win medals at this level. That was a solid performance, big step forward on landing at that point, but generally pretty consistent. Will he improve on the 13.750 that he achieved in qualification? Really maintained his form well throughout the year there. Chest high, the legs close together. down on his qualification score. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to It's not been a particularly high scoring final so far. Okay, we've only had two gymnasts go, but perhaps we'll see the best scores coming a little later on. This is Botond Molnar of Hungary. Took silver in this event last year. Sixth best in qualification, 13.750, the same as Salimov. Stuck his landing on that one, didn't he? Beautiful form in the air. And a big smile to finish off. Certainly looks pleased with that one. I'm sure he's hopeful of getting to the top of the podium as things stand. A little nod of the head. He looks confident. Of course, he is only the third gymnast to go, but certainly the one who's look the most confident after making his way off the floor. Last chess silver medalist. How much would he love to repeat that feat? Get back on that podium. Well, 
this is worth a 5.8 in terms of difficulty. Which is the third most difficult routine of the floor finalists. This from Azara of Hungary with a 6.3. That's the most difficult. Thirteen point five three three is the score he needs to beat. Not quite, just falling short. He's down on his qualification score, and he came off the floor, floor looking really pleased indeed. Dimitrov, the home hope. Sneaks in as a reserve. Oh, the foot out of bounds will elicit a deduction on the execution. It's a very different style of gymnast to the three we've seen already. Generating some real power in these tumbles. The others have all been a bit lighter and great, more graceful. He's going for the big tumbling pass to end the routine. Failed to control the landing. The chest just too far down. Loses balance and he hangs his head. Looks disappointed with the way he's finished that routine. And of course, he did have that one foot out of bounds a little earlier on. And one of the earlier tumbling passes. There we go. That's a deduction of 0.1 points. Really getting the same height as some of the other gymnasts. Called 13.7 in qualifying. It doesn't even look as though he's hanging around to see what he gets in this final. Well, that is the midway point of our first final of the day. Four competitors have been and gone on the floor. We just await Dimitrov's score, but it is 13.533. That is the highest one so far. That is the one to beat at this midway stage. That was Molnar Botund. It's disappointing for Dimitrov. That step out of bounds and then the loss of balance 
on his final landing, costing him in terms of his execution score, well down on the score he achieved in qualification. So at the midway stage, it is Molnar Batond who leads Finland's Emil Wojvalin. Gets us back underway. He finished qualification in eighth place. This routine is worth a 4.9 in terms of difficulty, so on the lower end of the difficulty scale, but if he can make up those points in execution, could be in with a chance. all going so well up until that stumble backwards for the Finn. He suspected that he was really racking up those execution points because he was sticking his landings. Just let down at the very final moment there. Point nine is enough to get him into third position as things stand, scoring well on the execution with an eight. And he has bettered his qualification score. My apologies, he hasn't bettered his qualification score. His qualification score is 13.7. It's not been the highest of scoring finals thus far. Patanin must be sensing that there is an opportunity here for him. Fourteen point six in qualifying, the second best behind Mazarosh of Hungary. routine is worth a 5.9 in terms of difficulty, the second most difficult that we will see in this final. Absolutely stuck that landing, didn't he? Solid, confident, assured performance from Dmitry Patanin. One of two Kazakhstani athletes in this final. 13.533 is the score he needs to beat to get on top of the podium as things stand. I suspect that he's given himself a very decent chance of doing so. Really solid on landing.
14.033. He leaps to the top of the standings. Representing Italy, Lorenzo Bonicelli. Lorenzo Bonicelli is our penultimate athlete to go. He finished qualification in fifth place with a 13.9. This is a 5.6 on the difficulty level. Shelley. Double high five for the coach, and you suspect that that will be enough to get him onto the podium as things stand. Patterning at the minute is head and shoulders above the rest. But Bonicelli, the 5.6 difficulty. You suspect will have scored pretty well in his execution as well. With slight steps forward, but otherwise it was another assured performance. Sneaks onto the podium ahead of Botond. That is enough for third place, but there is still one more gymnast to go. One of these athletes scoring as high as they did in qualification. Nicola Diaz. The final athlete takes to the floor the third best in qualifying. 5.8. The difficulty in this routine. We've got 14.1 qualification but it has been a much lower scoring final. Let's see if Diaz can buck that trend. Certainly a crowd pleaser, wasn't it? Frenchman looks confident as he exits the floor. Of course, with the withdrawal of Chris from this hour, the highest in qualification, the final opens up somewhat.
13.66. Nicola Diaz. Leapfrogs Bonicelli of Italy. Gets himself onto that podium. Of course, France will be very much looking forward to the Olympic Games this summer, their home games, and they'll be sending an incredibly strong team. That was a funny old floor final. Dimitri Patanin with a 14.033. The highest score significantly down on his qualification. That concludes the first of our five finals for the day. Turn our attention next to the women with the vault competition, which is sure to be a very high quality one indeed. We have Tatiana Current back to defend the vault title she won here last year. That is coming up very shortly indeed. So the final ranking for the vault competition, Dimitri Patanin with a 14.03 takes the gold ahead of Nicola Diaz, who takes the silver. Hassan Selimov makes up the podium with the bronze medal. So a pretty good start for Kazakhstan with two out of the three medals on offer so far. So confirmation once again of the final scores on the men's floor exercise. Kazakhstan with the gold and bronze and France with the silver in between. Selimov collects bronze for the floor. He's got medals at this level before. He was recently on the vault in Antalya earlier this year. Frenchman Nicolas Diaz, big smile as he steps up to claim the silver. But the only gymnast to have scored a 14, Dmitry Patanin. Justly rewarded with the gold medal.
Well, big smiles for the cameras. Congratulations to all three medalists. Congratulations indeed to all eight finalists. An achievement in itself, I doubt by their first representative, Sinolet Idrisov. Artadavtian will follow a very familiar name on many start lists in finals. As is Nariman Kurbanov, the second Kazakhstani athlete in this. And of course, Ravshan Kamilchanov rounds out the final. And here they come. And it's a lot of accomplished names on this start list. So it should be a high quality pommel horse final indeed. The two Kazakhstani athletes actually were the top two in qualification. Of course, Kazakhstan already have two medals for their efforts today. Gold and bronze on the men's floor. As you may have heard there from the stadium announcer, the first four athletes will start to warm up as ever. Then at the midway point, we'll have a break and the next four will warm up. So Idrisov gets us underway for Kazakhstan. He is first to warm up. Arta Davtian will be next, followed by Finland's Marcus Pitarinen. And Eduardo de Rosa, those are the first four who will go. Mateo Zugic of Croatia next. Kilan van der Aar of Belgium. Nariman Kurbanov of Kazakhstan. And then we finish with Ravshan Kamalinov. in terms of what we're looking out for in this pommel horse final it's a pretty easy one does the gymnast stay on the apparatus it's almost a guarantee that some of them won't of course there will be execution points deducted for that we're also looking for the leg form are their legs glued together when they're supposed to be do they bend them at certain points to keep their swing going we're looking for hips high above the horse as well As 
well we are of course looking for the dismount the all important ending to a routine if you have a well executed routine but don't stick the dismount then it's pretty much all in vain end of warm up Senale Idrisov of Kazakhstan, the 18-year-old, gets this competition Ladies underway. He earned himself a bronze medal at the World Cup in Cairo earlier this year. Didn't reach the final in Cottbus at the World Cup. This is his first World Challenge Cup and he has made it to the final. Given that he already has a medal to his name this year, he will be hopeful of another. Well, you can see the disappointment etched across his face. He finished second in qualification with a 14.850. This is worth a difficulty score of 6.3. The execution has suffered there, unfortunately. Once he got going again, he had good hip clearance off the top of the horse. It's often why we see the more shorter, more muscular guys struggling with this piece of apparatus. And he's got the right kind of physique to excel on the pommel horse. Armenia next up. Marta Davtian needs no introduction. The Olympic rings emblazoned across his back. Off well down on his qualification score. That was to be expected after he came off the horse. Davtian now. 2021 European champion on pommel horse. European bronze medalist on this apparatus two years ago, or rather one year ago in Antalya. He's won European medals on vault, world championship gold on vault. He's also hugely effective on pommel horse as well. just so strong, maintained his form throughout. This is an absolutely exhausting apparatus. But he's 
showed absolutely no signs of succumbing to tiredness. The Olympic bronze medalist from 2020 on vault, though. And certainly a very accomplished performer on the pommel horse as well. 31 years of age now, but showing absolutely no signs of slowing down. He was third. Varna last chair on the pommel horse, and I'm sure he will be very hopeful indeed of collecting another medal. Davtian finished fifth in qualifying with a 14.1. And he's bettered that score, 14.266. Marcus Petrenin of Finland, the teenager who is transitioning from the junior levels up to the seniors. qualifying with a 13.750. We've seen him competing at World Junior Championships, but he is a new face at this level, performing with real confidence. Showing some times, signs of tiredness there towards the end. The form is starting to slip a bit. But once he found his rhythm in the mid part of the routine, he looked very good. He was perhaps a little bit untidy at the beginning stages. And then, of course, as you might expect, started to succumb to the tiredness towards the end. It is a wonderful experience, nevertheless, for the 18-year-old to have made the final here at the World Challenge Cup. And here's another name to look out for in the future. It's fantastic to see so many promising youngsters in Varna today competing alongside the more experienced, accomplished athletes who no doubt provide a source of inspiration Just furiously jotting down scores. Slightly down on his qualification for the Finn. Nevertheless, as I said, an achievement just to reach this final. It 
Ricciardo de Rossa of Italy, third best in qualification with a third with a 14.650. This routine has a difficulty rating of 6.4. Second hardest routine in this final after Nariman Kurbanov, who qualified in first position. He's just so neat and tidy, isn't he? That form not faltering at all. Oh, what a shame. It's such a shame for Eduardo de Rosa, who looked so strong and so assured throughout that routine, just <laughs> fell at the final hurdle. Shake of the head, Eduardo de Rosa bitterly disappointed with how his routine finished at 12.6. Such a shame for the Italian. Of course, the next four athletes will warm up before we resume this vault final. Matteo Zugec of Croatia will get us back underway. Zugec won silver last year in Varna on the pommel horse. Croatia actually had two finalists in that event. Zugic was sixth in qualifying with a 13.850. Incidentally, that was the same score with which he won the silver last year. So clearly qualifying this year is a very high standard indeed. Mateo Zugic in his third season as a senior. He's 22 years of age now. specialist with fond memories of competing in Varna. He said he really began last season with confidence and he knew he had to make a few podiums. That's half the battle, isn't it? Believing you can do it. Once you actually make a podium once, then it becomes easier because you know that you actually can make it up there. Oh, 
Nicely done indeed, and just look at the reaction from Zugic. He applauds the crowd. I suspect he's actually half applauding himself as well. Sixth in qualifying. Eduardo De Rosa, who finished third, he would have been a threat. No longer is one, having fallen on landing. The minute is it is Arta Davtian with a 14.266 who leads the standings. Clearly hopeful of a big score here. See if the judges feel the same way. Point three, he sneaks ahead of Arta Davtian and into the lead. Well, it's close, but crucially, Zugec is now at the head of the standings. Belgium's Kilan van der Aar is next up. Seventh in qualifying with a 13.8. This routine is worth 5.3 in terms of difficulty. Very clean routine indeed for the Belgian. High scoring final so far. He'll need more than a 13.6 if he is to make it onto the podium. Thirteen point eight six six. He is currently in third place. Second Kazakhstani athlete to go on the pommel horse. 
Naravan Kurbanov. Well, if qualification is anything to go by, he is the man to beat. He scored a huge 15.650 in qualifying. He has the most difficult routine. Difficulty on this one is 6.7, and that was absolutely stunning. Look. He's moving through these elements so well, looking so comfortable. Kovanov making this look absolutely effortless. Is the pommel horse specialist bronze medal at the Asian Games last September on this apparatus two-time gold, gold medalist on pommel horse from the Asian Championships a skill named after him, the Kerbanov. And <laughs> just look at the reaction. Big smiles, Kerbanov and his coach. Not quite time to celebrate just yet. Fifteen point four three three head and shoulders above the rest of the field. Not quite what he achieved in qualification, but still better than the rest by quite some margin. Kamilchanov is our final athlete to go. Ravshan Kamilchanov of Uzbekistan. Fourth best in qualification. Another high score, 14.150. Difficulty of 5.7. Takes the landing, and it's a high quality finish to this pommel horse final. Kerbanov leading the way with a huge score of 15.433. To get onto the podium, he will need to beat Arta Davtian's score of 14.266. He's currently in that bronze medal spot. Fourteen point six three three. It's another big score, and that is enough to get him into the silver medal position. He knocks Arta Davtian off the podium. Confirmation then of the final rank in the men's pommel horse competition. Nariman Kerbin off with a huge performance to take gold with fifteen point four three three. Quite some margin between him and Kamil Janov in silver. Zugic with a big
big performance to take the bronze, just edging out Arta Davtian of Croatia. A surprise medalist in this final, given how the qualifications panned out, but he knew, he knew he'd done a good job. You could see the reaction as soon as he'd finished the routine. He was celebrating, he was looking towards the crowd, pumping his fists. Mateo Zugic with a 14.3, claims the bronze, he edges out Arta Davtian by the finest of margins. Davtian with a 14.266, agonizingly missing out on the podium. The silver medal goes to Uzbekistan. Ravshan Kamiljanov with a 14.633 but head and shoulders above the rest of Kazakhstan. It is Nariman Kurbanov with a huge score of 15.433. the Well, it's been a very successful day so far for Kazakhstan. They've collected medals in the men's floor and the men's pommel horse. Two golds so far and a bronze, so certainly the most successful nation of the day up to this point. That is the starting lineup for our final final of the day. Yunus Kondogdu of Turkey will lead out the finalists. Of course, Oleg Vanayev of Ukraine, a very, very familiar face indeed in these rings at finals. And here come the athletes.
last eight finalists have been introduced to the judges and to the crowd. And as ever, we'll begin with the first four warming up before we get underway. You can see there, Olad Vernev of Ukraine is first up to practice. Such a solid performer on this apparatus. Hugely experienced gymnast, the Parallel Bars Olympic champion from 2016. But also very handy across a number of different apparatuses, or apparatus rather. In terms of the qualification results for this final event, it was Armenia's Arta Avestian who finished the highest. He had the highest difficulty as well with a 5.9. He's got the most difficult routine of all of these finalists. And he scored a 14.7 in qualification, which is quite some margin ahead of Paco Fernandez Enriquez of France, who finished second in qualification with a 14.250. So a pretty high scoring qualification round. But Arta Avestian of Armenia, he won the gold here on this apparatus last year. And he will be sure I'm keen to make it back to back. Plenty of competition though in this one. Dmitry Patanin of Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan have picked up a number of medals already today. They've got a couple of golds so far. Of course, Patanin holds one of them. He got the gold in the floor. He's now going to give it a go on the rings. Can he get a second medal? But first of all, it is Turkey's Yunus. Gundogdu, who gets us underway in our last event of the day, the men's rings. Seventh best in qualifying, he sticks the landing there were a couple of struggles for him a couple of slight shakes but a good dismount It's the first time we've seen him competing at a World Cup or a World Challenge Cup since 2023. He only competed in vault there and that was the just the one event in Cottbus. I'm sure he is glad to be back on the circuit 
of Ukraine, such an experienced athlete. Fourth strongest in qualification with a 13.9. Lower down on the difficulty score. This one's worth a five. shaking there as he tries to hold the straddle shape but the handstand is good slight hop back on the landing but nevertheless it was a decent solid performance for Verneyev of Ukraine across so many different apparatus bars vault floor rings of course he has two bronze medals to his name on this apparatus from the summer universidades Anjou in 2015 Taipei in 2017 13.9 and he betters that representing Armenia Artur Tomovsian Artur Tomovsian of Armenia the sixth best in qualifying landing and a solid performance from the Armenian. You can see he was shaking a little during some of those elements. Generally held his form well. years of age now, the Armenian. We've not seen him competing at a World Challenge Cup this year. This is the first one we've seen him at since last Czech in Croatia last year made it through to the final of this apparatus, finishing fourth, just missing out on the podium place. On 13.9. 
13.766 puts him in third of three at the moment. Belgium's Liam de Smet is next up. Fifth in qualifying. He has one of the more difficult routines. This is worth a 5.6. Representing Belgium, Liam Desmet. Desmet of Belgium, not to be confused with a footballer of the same name. Croatia reached the final of the still rings, finishing seventh there. on the handstand, the body not entirely straight. You can see he's veering off to his right hand side a little there. Slight step back on landing for Liam de Smet, the fourth competitor so far in this final. Reach the midway stage of this ring's final. Arta Avestian of Armenia who finished highest in qualifying. We won't get to see him until the almost the end. He is the seventh athlete to go, so it might be a case of saving the best till almost last. Dimitri Patton in as well, he'll be one to look forward to. He goes last. enough to get Liam de Smet onto the podium as things stand. Slightly down on the score he achieved in qualifying though. Not too much of a, of a difference. 13.8 versus 13.9 so he is nothing if not consistent.
broken. Then Kirkonov of Uzbekistan was third best in qualifying. He had one of the more difficult routines with a 5.4. of struggle there, a bit of a shake but nevertheless he is parallel to the ground and the handstand is well held as well Solid from Tem Kirkenoff. Fourteen point one five zero in qualifying, and that would be the highest score in this final. It's been the lower scoring final than qualifying, that's for sure. Saying that we haven't seen Arta Avestian yet. Tom Kirkenoff there was the third best with a fourteen point. One five. So let's see what the judges make of this one when it really matters. Fourteen point one six six. Is slightly ahead of his qualification score. That puts him at the top of the podium as things stand. Three more gymnasts still to go, though. This is Francis Paco Hernandez Enriquez, the Frenchman who finished second in qualifying. The big score of 14.250. This routine is also worth a 5.4 in terms of the difficulty. Representing France, Paco Fernandez Henriquez. show competing you can always hear them in the crowd with the cries of Ale their athletes are always very well supported no matter where they go
he scored a 14.250 in qualification. I'd be curious to see what the judges award him for his final efforts. The times when he looked a little shaky on certain elements, 13.06, well down on the score he achieved in the qualification rounds. That puts him in last place. Arter Avestian of Armenia, the best in qualifying with a 14.7. He possesses the most difficult routine, a 5.9. And he is also last year's gold medalist. I'm sure he would like to go for the back-to-back. was a really solid performance indeed from the Armenian and you'd imagine that he'd be very hopeful of topping the standings following that one more gymnast to follow and you suspect that Avestian has now set the standard holding all of those elements perfectly still strength hold is really quite something. This dismount as well was solid. Well, he looks relaxed and a 14.5 propels him to the top of the standings. Arter Vestian is taking the gold as things stand. But there is still one gymnast remaining, none other than Dmitry Patanin of Kazakhstan. He already has a gold to his name today. He finished qualification in eighth place, however. Vestian will probably be thinking that that gold medal is safe. Solid landing, Dmitry Patanin rounds out the rings final. He scored a 13.6 in qualifying. His routine, the lowest scoring in terms of difficulty with a 4.8.
14.633, pretty much the exact same score as he got in qualifying. So a consistent performance from Patanin. Confirmation then of the results in the men's rings final. Arter Vestian, the clear victor. you see his name on the start list you know that he will be a contender for one of the podium places 14.066 was his score and Kirkenoff got a 14.166 that's how close it was between bronze and silver Tervestian great a show of sportsmanship congratulates his fellow competitors steps up to claim his gold got gold in this event last year gold again this year 